Alright, so that's a cool new uh, intro. So, yeah, Backyard Baseball 2001. There are a couple of key differences between this game and the 1997 version. The biggest difference being that this game adds a whole slew of new characters to pick from in the form of the pro players. I personally will not be playing with the pro players for a variety of reasons. Number one, the main appeal of the pros, which is, hey, you get to place professional baseball players, doesn't appeal to me because I don't really care for professional sports of any kind. I'm not a sports guy. I mainly just like this game because nostalgia and because it's fun. Uh, the second reason is these, the, the pros are, on, ironically, the real-life players who get ported into the game are have way less personality than the actual back, original Backyard Kids. They're just not as fun to play as. They're also very overpowered, so that kind of takes some of the fun away. Although we will be going up against some of them if we do season play, so... At least their presence will have one effect. You can also make custom characters, uh in this version. I think you can only make one for your team, but that is an option. I, I don't have a problem playing with custom players. That actually might be something that I would do, but I probably will not, I will not be picking the pros. At least not for this season. Maybe in a future season, but not this one. I'm going to stick with the Backyard Kids. The main reason why I wanted to get this version of the game is because when you play season play, you don't play on the parks department field number two all the time. Everyone, every team gets to pick a home field, and then you just play on like a bunch of different fields, which is great. Yes, I, I that that of all the things of season play in the '97 version, that was the one that bothered me the most. That we only had one field to play on, and then I guess there was the the playoffs field, and then the the championship field. But apart from that, it was just. That one field is just very boring, so now we'll get to shake things up a bit with that, which is great. Another key difference is that all of the characters' stats got reworked. So specifically, in the 97 version, their stats were on a scale of 1 to 4. In this, they're on a scale of 1 to 10. And a lot of the stats got reworked. Most of the players, I think, will play pretty much exactly the same as they did previously, but hopefully now their stats will be more in line of what they actually were. A lot of the stats were just flat out incorrect in the 97 version. Like they said, Joseph Smith was a four at batting, which is just a flat out lie. They said Ricky Johnson was two out of four at batting, and in this he's one out of ten, which is much more accurate. I think they should they should have most of the same stats though. Just you'll be able to see their true stats more easily. Another thing that changed is you now get to see the opposing team's stats. And you get to see any stat increases or decreases that happen from game to game, because those are in the 97 version, You just they're just invisible and you can't see them, which is kind of lame. And I don't know for sure, this might only be in the 2003 version, but I think in this version you can also get special bats by making double plays. So hopefully we'll get special bats more often. Unfortunately, this also means the computer will probably get special bats more often, so it'll be problematic. Anyhow, that's a long-winded way of saying we're going to start Season 2! Alright, we're going to make a new coach. I am Coach Hardy. Yes, alright, so we get to set up the season. <laughs> so we're going to still be playing on hard mode, obviously. I did, like, a little practice game on medium mode, and wow, medium mode was easy. Like, the, the computer players just wouldn't even move to the ball to catch it. It was laughable. We're only going to keep at six innings. Nine is just too much. Errors... Yes, errors on. What? If you turned errors off, do you just always get the ball? That's weird. We will be playing with the swing spot on, which is the shadow, but we are not playing with the pitch locator. That just makes things too easy. And we get to pick. <laughs> yeah. We get to pick a home field. All right. We have Ekman Acres, the Cement Gardens, the Dirt Yards, Playground Commons, Sandy Flats, Steel Stadium, Parks Department number two, guess what is not going to be the home field? Tin Can Alley. All right, so no new, no new stages. I know the 2003 version, like one of the only, a lot of, I have had people be like, play the 2003 version, but as far as I know, the 2003 version's only changes are, they added a few new pros, they changed some of the stages around, which is kind of cool, but a lot of the new stages just kind of suck and they removed some of them. And they redid the voice acting for every character, and it's terrible. So that seems like a big downgrade. Out of all the home fields, we got some good options. I'm going to have to go with my favorite, the Steel Stadium. This is my personal favorite stadium just because it's fairly easy to hit home runs on, and you can hit home runs in the swimming pool. It's, it's fantastic. So I think we will be doing that. Steel Stadium is home field. All right. 
Now here's the bad news. The one downgrade of 2001 is you, there are way fewer custom teams you can make. You'll remember the 97 version, there was like 12 different teams we can make. There are only six in this. And one of the teams that got cut was the All-Stars. So we can't be Artie's All-Stars anymore. Which is a big shame. But we, on the plus side, we get to choose two different colors to further customize our très chic outfits. And I guess, I guess the reason they cut a lot of the custom teams is you can play as, like, real life teams. But, I mean, who wants... Again, I don't know sports. Who wants to play as, like, the Indians or the Detroit Tigers or the, the, the Red Wings? Like, nobody wants to play as those teams. I want to play as the backyard teams. <laughs> and we only have six. I like them. I think we're going to go with the Monsters. Alright, we were the Junior All-Stars last time. We could be the Junior Monsters. I think we've graduated from Junior to Little, guys. Alright, we get to pick a main color and then a secondary color. We'll probably go for the Green Monsters. Ooh, we're the purple ones. I like the green ones. It's very Frankenstein-esque. I like, I like the... Does that, does those colors look okay, everybody? Because if there's one thing about me, I, I don't have a very good sense of design. I like the green and blue colors, but there are also a few other options. I feel like green and red are too Christmassy. <laughs> that makes us the hacker. I like the little monsters. We're, we're just, uh, we're just little monsters. <laughs> That's like, we're, we're the toddlers, the little monsters. All right, there we go. That's better team. All right. Yeah, we've got a huge roster this time, but most of them are pro players. And for those of you who weren't around when I said it, I will not be picking any of the pro players. I'll be sticking with the backyard kids, and I might pick a custom character, because you can do that in this. <laughs> All right. So how I'm going to pick characters, people might be wondering, will my team be the same as last season? Yes and no. I've decided. I thought about it. I have decided I have handpicked four players from season one's team that will be returning for season, for season two based on their performance and popularity. I, have, I will hand select four new players to join this team. And because we get nine spots, I will let Twitch chat choose the last player. Not a pro. So, think about that. So, I'll start with the four that are returning. Obviously, we have to have Pablo. Pablo is... He's a must for any team. I don't know a single person who doesn't pick him. You gotta have him. And he was definitely the MVP for last season. He scored like 50% of the runs all by himself. He, it's a, he's a gotta have. Although, one, apparently one thing... Um, the fielding stat, I feel like, is largely just irrelevant. Because I feel like... They say Pablo is maxed out at fielding, but he's not. Like, he fumbles it a lot. But we're going to pick him. Also, it looks like Pablo got nerfed in pitching a bit. Excellent. We got to pick Pablo. And obviously, if, in the biggest turnaround of the century, in Season 1, I said that I would drop him immediately in Season 2. But for the biggest turnabout ever, he ended up becoming one of the favorite players he be he's literally become a meme so much that I've made an emote for him. He has to return on this season and in every season afterwards. The one, the only, Jedi Master Tony Del Vecchio. Hey, I want to play some ball. <laughs> we have to have Tony Del Vecchio back. He he's he's such a meme. Also, wow, Tony, you got you got hit pretty hard with the nerfs. They, maybe he he actually he might have gotten a, a buff in running, which is good. He Listen desperately here, needed Flick, that. You made the right decision. Yes, Tony is 100% returning. We have to. I literally made an emote for him. He, it was him going from the least, like, totally irrelevant to absolute master of home runs was so wonderful. Another character that's returning is Pete Do Wheeler. You pick me for your team. Pete Wheeler is just one of the best characters in the whole game, and he was a very consistent player for me last uh, season. Even if he didn't hit uh, hit a lot of home runs, he got a lot. He scored a lot of runs just by reaching home because of his insane speed and great bunting skills. He was also very skilled at feeling, so mm. I definitely want mm. Pete back. His hair is buffed. <laughs> Tony's hair probably got a buff. And now the last. The fourth player, the last player who's returning, this one took a little bit more thinking. I debated Lisa Crockett because she was an amazing pitcher and fielder for me. But she also was absolutely atrocious at batting, and she got a little aggressive with trying to make every play. So I decided no to her. We could get Keisha back, but honestly, 
of all the players, the one who I think I like the most and who I thought was the most consistent was my math man, Dmitry Petrovich. Dmitry, he did me proud last season. He was excellent at fielding, making very few errors, and he actually got quite a few home runs. So I definitely want him back. They say he's a free at fielding. I really hope that's still a lie because he definitely catches a lot. I learned he can't catch fast balls to him as much, but as long as the ball is reasonably slow, he can grab it Excellent. no problem. I will start drawing out a basic strategy based on the current temperature, the wind condition, and the coefficient of refraction for the playing surface. There we go, my man Dimitri. So this means the five characters who will not be returning are Keisha, Lisa, Jocinda, Kenny, and Jorge. I wanted Kenny back as well because... I felt like Kenny was fairly consistent, but he, he was a little bit of a letdown as far as um, batting goes. I remember him being better at batting. This also means I am in need of a new pitcher, because Lisa, my main pitcher, and Kenny, my backup pitcher, both got both got cut from the team, so that's going to be interesting. So my first of the new picks, I've decided it's going to be a great replacement for Keisha Phillips, who is kind of my other big powerhouse. The one, the only... The hard-rocking Ahmed Khan! Oh, yeah. People love Ahmed Khan. He's one of the best batters in the game, and he's got the best headphones. He's also in a rock band. Let's rock and roll! Yes. Ahmed Khan is going to be awesome. All right. Who else to pick? I kind of... I was thinking I'd also get Amir Khan, because Amir is very good at pitching. But... And... If Amir, here's the thing though, if Amir and Ahmed are on the same team, they both get stat boosts. I'm afraid if I pick both of them, it might make my team a little too broken. Do people think I should pick Amir? Because Amir is a pretty solid player. He's not as good as fielding. He's not as good at fielding. He's not as good at batting, but he's he's a very solid player. Chat is overwhelmingly saying yes, pick Amir. Alright, Ahmed and Amir, they're gonna be great. I also I also should probably get a backup pitcher. One character that I I remember being one of the worst players in the game, but I feel like either got massively buffed in this version, or is just better than I remember, is uh, Luan Louis. I think I'm going to pick Luan Louis. I want to play with you, please. She, I can run real fast. She's like the youngest character in the game, but holy cow, I don't remember her stats being anywhere near this good in the original game. I remember her in the original game being one at batting, Four, three at running, four at pitching, one at fielding. Which basically meant her two main strengths for running and her pitching were kind of at loggerheads with each other. Because if, if because of her bad fielding, you have to put her as the pitcher. And if you pit, make her pitch, she runs out of juice, which slows her down. Having said that, though, it looks like she's way better at batting than I remember. And is actually passable at pitching. So I think she'll be great. I actually will probably end up making her my main pitcher. And Amir can be a great backup. We are gonna play real good, you see. Oh yeah, Luan Louis. She's gonna be great. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a very strong team right now, and we can't have only strong players. We gotta have a couple of weak links. So one character that I'd also decide I'm gonna take for this season is a character I think I've only picked like once in my entire history of playing this game. It's a character that the computer player would often pick, but I always thought was just really a terrible character, and probably is a really terrible character, but we shouldn't just pick the All-Stars, we should make this a little bit of a challenge, and that is why I've decided for spot number eight, I'm gonna pick Mark no, Dubois. No <laughs> Marky is one of the slowest characters in the whole game, but he's pretty good at defense. He can. He's also a decent pitcher, and he's pretty good at fielding. I am worried about his offensive play, though, because holy cow, he he doesn't wear shoes, which apparently slows him down. But I'm gonna pick him. Not doing. I'm gonna play. <laughs> All right, Marky. <laughs> All right, so we have our first eight players now. Twitch chat. I think a lot of you are familiar with this game. It's time for you all to vote who you want as my ninth player. I you cannot vote for pro players, but you can vote for custom character. If, if people want custom character, I will make one. <laughs> Otherwise, you can pick one of the backyard kids. Alright, alright. Twitch chat has decided it's Maria Luna. Okay, we're gonna win for sure. Okay, she bet- Okay, when it says she's a 7 at fielding, do they actually mean that? 
Because I remember Maria being one of the worst fielders in the entire game. I, I seriously could count the number of times she's caught the ball when it's thrown to her on one hand. She's... she's... <laughs> I hope that's just in the 97 version, but this is our team! We have Pablo, Tony, Dimitri, Luan, Ahmed Amir, Marty... or Marty... Marky, Maria, and Pete. This is our... this is a great team! Alright, we've got some real winners here. And Marky. Alright, so this is our team! Who are we gonna play? Yeah, we're gonna start the first game. Alright. We're going up against the Marine... The Mariners? The Mariners? I don't know that team. Oh, I, I've also... I also believe how the uh, enemy teams in this will work is that the enemy teams will, will be... There will be seven, like, pre-made custom characters on the team, one backyard kid, and one pro player. I think that's how it's going to work. All right, so we've got... Lara Nunez. She's... Not that great. Jose Meisenheimer. Ooh, he's pretty... He's super slow, though. We can use that to our advantage. Uh, Aaron Harris. <laughs> One at fielding. Okay, not too bad. Karen. Oh, we got a Karen in the outfield. They have Alex Rodriguez. Oh, no. He's really good. <laughs> uh, oh, Jordan Forner's not having a good day, though. He's got some stat penalties. Omar Stefano, he also has some stat penalties. Stephanie, uh-oh, Stephanie's really feeling the power. <laughs> she's like, you should have picked me instead of Maria. And then we have Emily Nubel. Oh, she's really good, too. All right, let's go to our roster. Uh, Maria's catcher, or Maria's pitcher is good. We're going to keep Tony as the cat. Oh, my gosh, Tony with the massive stat bonuses. <laughs> Holy cow, Tony's going to be as fast as Pete. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Dang, Tony got the buffs. Oh, this is going to be great. I might bunt with Tony, honestly. <laughs> Maria Luna is the same. Amir. Amir got big bonuses to everything, but they got a massive de decrement to his pitching, which is fine. We have Marky instead. That's good. Maria is the same. Pablo's the same. Marky's the same. Pete's the same. Dimitri's the same. And Ahmed is the same. Awesome. Okay. So I like having I, <laughs> Tony's Master Tony. <laughs> Let's see those Master Tony emotes. So Master Tony's going to be the catcher. I really like that position. When he was in the outfield, he was kind of bad. But here he can just kind of rocket it the first. I think I'm going to put... I'm going to put Marky on first. I think Marky can catch the ball pretty reliably. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to put Dimitri on third. I think that's a good idea. Definitely going to put Pete in center field. I think I'm going to put Pablo in left field and Ahmed in right field. They're they're all pretty fast, and they all have good arms, so they should be able to get it back in field pretty good. Marty, I normally would put Dimitri on first, but what I learned is that if Dimitri has thrown a ball that's really fast, he has a hard time catching it, and Tony has an arm. So I'm actually going to have Tony there so he can rocket it to Marky, and Marky should be good enough at fielding to be able to catch it. I think that's... Good. The only one I'm worried about is Maria on second, because I think she drops a lot, but that's okay. Uh, Pete's going to start the batting lineup. Uh, then Luan, because they're both really fast. Then we're going to have Pablo. Followed by Ahmed. He's going to be a good cleanup pitcher. Then I think we can have Dimitri. And we're going to have Marky go last, because he kind of sucks. Uh, Maria's going to go before. Yeah, I like that. I like that order. And we can switch it up in future games if we need to. All right. Welcome to the most fun you'll have all day. I'm Sunny Day, and together with my pal, Vinny the Gooch, we'll bring every bit of the action to you. This afternoon will feature a fierce competition between the Seattle Mariners and the Little Monsters. Fans, don't forget to eat way too much cotton candy today so that you're not hungry at dinner time tonight. Your parents will think it's the funniest thing since your last report card. So, what are we <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vinny. Vinny the Gooch never changed. Except the, the problem is Vinny the Gooch did change in the 2003 version. He got a new voice actor, and he goes from being, like, the funniest part of the game to the least funny part of the game. It's it's awful. All right, the Seattle Mariners. No idea who they are, but they're trademarked, apparently. But they have no match for the little monsters <laughs> at Steel Stadium. <laughs> okay, oh, great. Steel Stadium is our home field, and it's the first game. Nice. Louis. If it's on fire... Or just plain hot. Lulu can smoke you with it. I love playing baseball. 
Jordan I think Porter. the real pitcher, though, is Teddy. All right, Jordan Forner. I think that all of their all of their characters are pretty skilled at batting. All right, he bunted first. Oh, the graphics are a little different. Nice job, Luan. Luan's a speedy little bugger, unlike uh, Lisa. Uh oh, he's a pro. We gotta watch out for him. All right, it looks a little bit different compared to the '97 version, but it's playing exactly the same. Oh, everyone's bunting. If you're a pro and you're bunting, why are you pro? All right. Luan, you, you, you can't throw it very hard, but that's okay. Most intimidating pitcher ever. I love, I love how it's literally like, let's conscript this professional baseball player so he can bat against, like, a five-year-old. I, I know the pros in this game are, like, it's the pros when they're kids, but it's still hilarious to me. Oh, right, Pete. All right, Pete. Nice job, Pete. Per great first inning. No strikeouts, but we wow. That's really good. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's been known to pull. Who on this four? She's not even in elementary school, and she's and she's getting these pros out. This is awesome, oh, Dane. Luan is officially way better at baseball than I am. All right, Pete. Pete, were your eyes always pure blue? Let's start with a good old bunt. All right, Pete, you're the fastest player in the game. Oh my gosh, look how slow he is! Oh man, we will be able to bunt very, very well. Oh man, their pitcher is so slow. We're gonna be able to bunt with like half our characters. Oh. Alright, Teddy's at bat. I mean, Lulu. Alright, Lulu. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not even fair. <laughs> Pablo Sanchez, the home run cane. Let's see if we can get three runs. Alright. That was a mistake. Should not have hit it closed. Alright. Smash it! Okay, well... They're still so slow, we're all going to advance. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> Our characters are so fast. This is great. All right, Ahmed. All right, Ahmed is one of the top batters in the league, so I'm hoping for a home run. What a what a way for Ahmed to start the season by getting a home run. Looked like a good pitch to me. Did it, Vinny? Because it sure didn't look that good to me. All right, Ahmed. Darn it! Too high. If he can keep it together, he's got one more shot. If you strike out Ahmed, no worries. But a home run would be so glorious. All right, that's a foul. That's okay. Imagine if Ahmed started his batting career, like his baseball career, with a grand slam. Oh! Okay, that's not a grand slam, but we're getting two people home at least. Did she have a cannon? Oh my gosh, she has a cannon. Okay, go back. Dane, nice job, Ahmed. Oh, that was that that wasn't a home run, but that was glorious. He scored two runs. Very nice. Backyard football is better than Madden 21. Haven't played either, but I agree. I've determined the optimum. Which is funny because my family actually has backyard football. I just never actually played it. Alright, Dimitri, you were you've been an all-star last season. I don't swing at that. That's a new voice clip. I haven't heard that from Sunny Day yet. It was kind of shrill, to be perfectly honest. All right, Dimitri. For the math nerds! Okay. <laughs> I The ones I play, I played baseball, soccer, basketball, and hockey, okay. Well, that's a little disappointing. Oh, Dimitri's no longer pulling up his pants every time he runs. Good for you, Dimitri. You learned to keep your pants on. Oh, guys, it's time for Master Tony. <laughs> and he got some buffs. Although, the only thing he didn't get buffed in is batting, so... We gotta tr we've gotta try for a Grand Slam. We've gotta try for a Master Tony Grand Slam. 
From the stretch, the delivery. We're not swinging at that. <laughs> How is that a strike? The ball is entirely outside of the strike zone. <laughs> Bastard Tony. From the stretch and the pitch. The wing. Darn it. Darn it, Tony. <laughs> Ground ball up oh, that's... Baseline. And he stumbles. Waited it. They waited to call it foul until after Tony tripped. I see how it's. I see how it is. Oh man, he probably would have gotten on base otherwise. I'm not swinging. Come on, Master Tony Grand Slam in the first inning of the first game of the second season. This would be so good. Oh, too early. Oh. That's okay. We still, we, that's our first out. All right, Amir. This one's out of here. <laughs> that's okay. Amir, Amir Khan at this point has batting comparable to his brother. Are they just going to walk him? Amir, I think, is right now 9 out of 10 at batting. So he, he's, he's got the, he's got the power. Okay, that's not good. Oh, infield fly. I, I'll take that. You know what? I would take infield fly over double play because I don't want them to get a special bat. All right, Maria. All right, Maria. I I consider you to be a very underrated batter. So show them what you're made of. That's I said power, Maria. That was not power. Oh well, we got two points in the first inning. I, you know what? Two points first inning. Game. I can't complain for that. I, I think they added new voice clips for Sunny Day and uh, Vinny, which is great because they got their clip. Their clips got very repetitive. All right, back to pitching, and Luan got all of her juice back. Get Jose out of there. Oh man, we have an actual we have an actual four year old as our pitcher, and she's doing great. All right, Stephanie is a solid player, very, very well-rounded. So she's got, a, she's got a high strike zone. Nice hit, Tony. Wow, Tony! Oh, that's right, Tony is like as fast as Pete Wheeler. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, Omar. You know what? I probably should have bun. No, I had to try for a Tony Grand Slam. Give him the slow ball, Lulu. Give him the slow ball. Nice job. Yeah, I like how it puts the other kids on the teams, on the op opposing teams as well. Oh boy! <laughs> Yeehaw! A squirrel in a nut house? What? Into the motion, the delivery, the wing. Yeehaw! <laughs> Come on, Donnie. <laughs> All right, I can't remember how good Mark he is at batting or how bad. Okay, he's not. Maybe he just had an off day, but he that that was not very good, Marky. It's okay, Marky. <laughs> you're good at catching fiends on first. <laughs> All right, Pete, you're super fast. The pitcher's super slow. That means it's bunting time. Herp a derp a skirp. Yes, please move off of first base. Ha <laughs> ha. Fools. All right, Lulu. Well, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> Slow pitcher, we're gonna bunt. <laughs> we're not bunting on that one, though. I am curious to see if Lulu can actually get a good hit. Or if she's more like Jocinda, where she can hit it easily, but she can't actually, like, get power off of it. If she's four years old, I feel like she shouldn't be able to hit it all that hard. Nice job. Oh, man. Our starting... <laughs> We have really good batters. <laughs> At least this game. Our only two, like, weak links are Marky and maybe Maria. Alright, Pablo. Oh, good to know. Nice hit. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, the altitude on that. Well, that's our first home run. <laughs> First home run of season two, and of course it was Pablo. Oh, 
Oh man, this is a slaughter. I probably picked too strong of a team. Even for hard mode, I think I picked too strong of a team. Only 280 feet, uh, feet though. All right, Ahmed. <laughs> You ripped one last time. Let's see if you can do it again. I feel personally attacked by that, Vinny. There's nothing wrong with having the volume way up. The game cheated last season only for one or two games, though. Oh, no. Not a pop fly. Ahmed, no! Oh, my gosh. He dropped it. Nice job, Ahmed. Nice single. <laughs> oh, my bad, Marty. Only Goofus turns the volume way up. You are correct. I swear sometimes they just call things as strikes when they are not. Okay, that was stupid. They would have called that as a strike, though. I must give some credit to the pitcher for rendering my probability calculations useless. All right, Tony. Actually, you know, who's on first? Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed's not fast enough for him to bunt, so I'm going to try power with Tony. If, if, if Ahmed was not on first, though, I absolutely would bunt with Tony because he is ridiculously fast. The delivery... Oh, smack that ball, Tony. Unfortunately, that's just a pop fly, but maybe he'll drop it. No, nope, he won't drop it. Good effort, Tony. Good effort. Oh, no, guys. Karen's up at bat. In the greatest irony of ironies, Karen is the manager of their team. All right, Karen Donato. Okay, we've got a spitball and a slow-mo, but I feel like even a four-year-old Luan Louis is mature enough to know that spitting on the ball is gross. Now's a good time for a slow ball. All right, all right, Vinny. I, uh, Vinny, I, I trust your advice implicitly. <laughs> Karen, you can't say the baseball is too fast. I literally pitched you a slow ball. All right, nice. Oh, that, that's another change. I noticed when you get a power-up in this, it makes the power-up sound effect like the bloom, bloom, bloom. <laughs> Uh-oh, Karen's going to see our manager. All right, Lara. Man, Luan Louise, she is good at pitching. Holy cow. Like, that's definitely an improvement over Lisa Crockett. Oh, it's, it's her twin sister, Erin Harris. Exact same build, except she bats lefty. Alright, Tony. Grab that, and chuck it to Marky. Nice job! <laughs> Lock the clubhouse door after the game. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Alright, Amir! No Alright, Amir. This one's out of here. Let's smash it. The stretch and the pitch. A swing. Okay, that's a grounder. Stephanie's gonna beat us there. That's okay. Good try, Amir. Good try. Alright, I'm gonna do a line drive with Maria. I feel like her batting's not up to snuff. I don't think she's fast enough to pull off a bunt or a grounder, but a line drive, if she can get it towards the outfield, I'm not swinging at that. I'm surprised they didn't call that as a strike, to be honest, because it's touching the strike zone. Stop, stop pitching it at the edge of the zone. Give me one right down the middle. Like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she'll get on first. Unless they've got cannons. She'll make it on first. Nice job, Maria. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad that Vinny and Sonny have new voice clips. It actually makes it a lot more interesting. All right, well, I, you better hold me to that, Marky. Squirrel in a nut house. I'm going to see it. That was not very good. Mr. Clanky needs better robot eyes. Oh, no. Slide! Oh, my... How did... Okay, Maria got out, but Marky made it to first. I'm just glad it wasn't a double play, because that... Actually, even if they even if they got a double play, worst case, they get, like, one home run with the aluminum power bat. Runner on first. Two out. Uh... What am I supposed to do again? That's the 
Honestly, that's the only way I could really make this team more broken. Oh, wait. No, I can't bunt. <laughs> I forgot Marky's on first. <laughs> that would be suicide. The only way I can... Oh! Pete Wheeler with the home run. That is a home run, right? Yeah. Nice job, Pete. Good. Pete, that was the best you could have done, honestly. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, and of course, that would not have been a home run on any other stadium, but Steel Stadium is very special. <laughs> and that, <laughs> it's not a diamond, it like dips back at the top. It's amazing. <laughs> Nicely done, Pete. Pete's really good. That was Vinny the Gooch whispering about, we got spirit, how about you? Yeah, as I was saying, the only way I could make this team more broken is if I had Mr. Clanky on it. Although, honestly, Mr. Clanky is really bad at batting. He's just, like, the most broken pitcher in the game. I I'm going to try... I'm going to hit power with Lulu. I'm going to see how, how much power we can get off of Lulu. <laughs> 2 12, one of the weakest homers ever seen. I know. That's, like, literally just barely a home run, even on Steel Stadium. And then in, in Season 1, Pablo got, like, the 680-foot home run in, like, the stadium. I'm curious to see how powerful Lulu can hit it. I know I could just go for the bunt, but that's boring. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't hit power with Lulu. That's okay, Lulu. I just wanted to see. Up by seven. She didn't even give that vertical height. That literally is just like a nick. Uh. Eh, <laughs> strike out. Nice job, Luan. I love how a four year old girl and her teddy bear are just smoking out everybody, including a professional baseball player. Hey, Alex Rodriguez. Oh, wow, we still have more slow mos. St you really need to stop bunting when Master Tony is the catcher. You're not going to get on first. Not when he's when not when he's maxed out at speed like that. Hey, that was like the first solid hit that they got. For unfortunately, wow, Maria, nice catch. Wow, this team is not very good. <laughs> I know it's the first game, and we've... I think I picked too many good players. I think I picked too many good players. Alright, well... <laughs> when, you, when you have Pablo at bat, you always have to go for the home run. Beautiful hit. Nice single, Pablo. Ahmed, I am dying to see an Ahmed Khan home run where it plays his rockin' music. Ahmed. Oh, thank goodness that was called as a foul. Be careful when facing Randy Johnson. I'm, I'm always going to be careful when I'm up against a pro player because they're all really good. Like, I feel like every one of the pro players is just really good at, only, at three out of the four stats in the game. Nice, Ahmed! That's... Ahmed's not giving it a lot of altitude, though. He hits it far, but he doesn't hit it very high. Dimitri did not get the 1.0 batting average for five games in a row like he did in Season 1, but that's okay. He's still a very valued member of this team. He'd also be a little more valued if he could hit the ball with consistency. Also, I, I picked the color green for my team. Why are you wearing white? You've got the green hat, but that's about it. Oh, Randy Johnson is Waluigi. <laughs> Alright, I heard that crack, but that's going to get caught, and Pablo's back to first. But that's okay, because we got Master Tony up next. Tony, oh, Master Tony, he's 0.0 once again. Okay, let's see what I really want to bunt with Tony. He's so fast, and Pablo is also very fast. I want to bunt. If he fouls a bunt twice, though, I'm going for power. From the windup, pitch on the way. 
There we go. Oh, look at that! Okay, that is actually faster than Pete Wheeler. Wow, Tony. All right, Amir is also zero for two. Really? But he's like maxed at batting. All right, well we're going power. Bring us home, Amir. Yeah. All right. Far but not high is still very good as long as it's fast. It can blow past a lot of fielders better than a non-homer height. That's fair. That's true. I agree with that. The problem is Ahmed is a little on the slow side. At least compared to my other players. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah. It's okay. Nice try, Amir. In the Mario Baseball Series, Waluigi, best pitcher. And Peach. Peach is also really good. Cool boy. There was a Monsters game almost three seasons ago over at the Dirt Yards. I'll never forget that game. The strangest thing happened at the bottom of the sixth inning. I'll never forget the look on the face of that pitcher. Well, what happened? You know, I'm not sure. But I'll never forget the look on the face of that batter at the bottom of the fifth. Uh, Vinny? Yeah? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Vinny the Gooch. Young batter means business. <laughs> what a character. Into the windup. Pitch on the way. I love the little stories he tells in between innings. And they change depending on what your team is, which is funny. Oh, man, I should have made... Well, no. I was going to say I should have made the Monsters home field the Dirt Yards for, like, a monster truck rally, but Dirt Yards sucks. Mar Marty, PD Piranha and Mario Tennis, please. Everyone knows the best Mario Tennis player is Pro Bowser. <laughs> for those who don't know, uh, we have Mario Power Tennis for the GameCube, which is a very fun game. And we'll often do free player in that, and free player tennis is hard. You have to have four players, so... We have a computer player, and we always make him Bowser on the pro difficulty, and he's, like, unbeatable. Like, you you can't get it past him. He's just so good. <laughs> so, yeah, pro Bowser. If only I could have him in this game. All right, Omar. I just want to note that Luan Louis has thus far pitched a perfect game and has not needed any breaks. <laughs> Me and Marty LP Mario Power Tennis. That could very well happen in the future, Prince Dusk. Very well could happen. Probably not a full LP, but like a one-off multiplayer round. Oh yeah. Another special pitch that we're not going to use. <laughs> yeah, we're, we are pulverizing them. Uh-oh. We're at the weak part of the lineup, though. <laughs> yeah, they walked Maria. That was risky. I, I couldn't tell if they were going to call that or not, but I figured if Maria got out, whatever. All right, everyone's favorite batter up next. <laughs> okay, that'll bring up Marky and Boy. <laughs> Yeehaw! I, want, I really want to hit a home run with Marky at some point in this season. I hit a home run with Jorge last season, so it could very well happen. She is ready, and the delivery. <laughs> Maybe you should pitch it to the left side. Wait, that's goofy. <laughs> Yuck, maybe you should pitch it to the left side, Sora. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Maria's not here to be competitive. She's here to bring enthusiasm to the team. I like Maria. Even if she's not the best player, she's one of my favorites. Like, she's got a really cute design and, like, a great personality. Oh, uh, sly. <sighs> Mark. Uh oh. That's not good. They have a special bat now. <laughs> I heard the power-up sound. Double play meant special bat. <laughs> okay. I'm confident I can get him and Luan both on base and set them up for another Pablo homer, so... It's bunty time, Woody. <laughs> oh, Dane. The catcher's pretty fast, but doesn't have as good of an arm as Tony does, so... Okay, Luan, we gotta, we gotta fix your batting average. I do not like that batting average. Luan is also here to bring enthusiasm, but Luan is also really, really good. 
I don't know why I bunted for that one. It was pretty clear it wasn't going to be in the strike. In her very tiny... There we go. Yes, you want to get it a little bit of distance when you bunt. Beautiful! Okay, Pete and Luan together are the unbeatable combo. We're always going to get them on base. <laughs> but bring Pavo in for a homer. This is a little unfair. <laughs> It's okay, though, because I'm pretty sure the opposing teams are going to get harder. From the wind up and delivered. Swung on. That's a foul. Please pitch fast balls to the right side of the strike zone. That almost always results in a home run. Here's the wind up. The delivery. A swing. Oh, man. That's not good. That's a slow roll. Oh, they might all advance. No, they're all going to advance. Okay, Ahmed Khan. <laughs> Oh, Ahmed Khan, yes. <laughs> the one's there to bring a false sense of security to the opposing team. That too, they're like, oh, four-year-old girl with a teddy bear. Oh my gosh, she just struck all of us out. Oh my gosh, she ran to their first base faster than we could think. I'm not swinging. Pitch it to the right side and let Ahmed crack the ball out of orbit. Oh, get that out of orbit! Time for the heavy rocket song! So it's looking a bit shaky for the opponents as he cleared the bases with one swing. Yes, I was rocking out to air guitar. <laughs> oh, that was glorious. Ahmed Khan Grand Slam in the first game of the season. That's epic. No, no mercy roll. We, we keep going until it's over. <laughs> wow, Grand Slam. That is... Ahmed Khan does definitely have a top tier song. I still don't think it's as epic as the Pablo Sanchez one, but it's definitely top five. I also have never, I have never heard Ricky Johnson get a home run or Vicky Kawaguchi. <laughs> they are both abysmal at batting. If I ever get an aluminum power bat, I would love to be able to use it on one of them. Come on, Dimitri! Oh my gosh! Stephanie Morgan just got a concussion. <laughs> All right, Master Tony. You could potentially score us another two runs. There is absolutely no need to do so, but it would be hilarious. <laughs> this poor opposing team. Oh, the poor Mariners. <laughs> they have no idea what hit them. Ahmed Khan's going to have all the professional teams trying to draft him after that. Amazing Grand Slam. Jose Meisenheimer. He tends to strike out oh, they're getting Jose Meisenheimer back. I didn't even notice that he was gone, to be perfectly honest. Darn it, Tony! <laughs> That's okay, guys. If we learned something from last season, it's that... Oh my gosh, they dropped it! They oh <laughs> they're, they're not having a very good day. They're not having a very good day. Computer made the cardinal sin of making Stephanie not the shortstop, so she was probably daydreaming. <laughs> Maybe. If there's one thing we know, it's that Tony doesn't necessarily do doesn't necessarily play his best at the start of the season. It takes a while. Please drop it. Yes, good. All right, all right, Amir. Your brother got a grand slam. You haven't hit the ball and gotten on base yet, but I believe. I believe in a buffalo, just like that chair song said. No! Wow! Oh, it was it was a good effort. All right, Amir might be my weak link as far as batting goes. No one can stop these maniacs today. No. They do have a special bat, though. Look at that determination. I'm guessing that they got a crazy bunt. Ready now, That's what I'm guessing. 
Computer players generally get undergrounders and crazy bunts, and you generally get line screaming line drives and crazy bunts. A bouncing ball. Oh, nice, nice hustle, Luan. Oh man, Luan knew what was up. Holy cow, she like warped to first. <laughs> That's the problem with drafting a Rod. He can't play anything but shortstop like Stephanie Morgan. Why'd they get them both on the same team? I want to see them use the special bat, to be honest. Even if it is aluminum power bat. Although there, there's a chance they already used it. Good time to pinch him with a hook or a crazy pitch. I have a crazy pitch. Now's a good time to use a breaking ball. Okay. You want you want another crazy ball? I'll give him another crazy ball. Ready now. <laughs> nice hit, but you're not going to get it past Master Tony and Marky. <laughs> Tony is the Jedi Master and Marky is the Padawan. They have good chemistry together. Alright, last pitch of the day, Luan Louis, bring him home. I think, I think they may have ended up wasting their special bat. I don't know why they're not using it. I want them to use it. One out left from the perfect game. We're getting that perfect game. We're getting it. We are getting the perfect game, folks. We're going to get it. And that's game! Perfect game, pitched by a four-year-old. Oh, that was glorious. What a way to start the season. A monster's Cream them. 11 0. That is Boy, a cream. Kids excited. What a game. Tonight at the victory party, it's rumored that Ahmed and some of his cousins are going to bring out their instruments and rock out. Despite that, the party should be a lot of fun. And <laughs> next time, wow, what a Saturday burn. For <laughs> and the whole gang. So it makes perfect sense, though, because both the Khan siblings are here, so of course they're going to have a rock out. Oh, man. Perfect game. That was amazing. The Seattle Mariners wasted so much talents. Yeah, because to be honest, their team wasn't bad. Like, their team had pretty good stats. They just didn't play very well. I feel a little bad for them, but here's the thing. We're going to play every team twice because we play on our home field and we play on their home field. So they could get their chance at revenge in the future. Wow, that was the first game. Holy cow, that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start! That I did not. Ex I, I I expected to win the first game, but I did not expect to win it by that much, and I did not expect to get a perfect game. That was insane. I think our team might be just a little overpowered, because I, I honestly I feel like Marky is our only weak link. Like, yeah, Tony is a bit inconsistent. Yeah, Maria's not the best, but they're still good. Marky's the only one who's like just not all that useful. And, like, like Pablo's one of the best. Ahmed's one of the best. Pete is absolutely one of the best. You could argue Dimitri's not that good in terms of pure stats, but in terms of, like, how well he plays, he, he does very well. Oh, look at the standings. Yeah, we'll look at the standings. We are the top-ranked teams in the division. That's us in the athletics. Uh, I've read that as the Philistines. No, nope, I've just been doing Bible study. <laughs> Yar, the pirates be beaten the melon. No, no, the melon heads. One. Yar, the pirates be beaten the Astros. Har, har, har. Fishes and Dodgers are good. All right. League leaders. Jason Giambi has the most home runs. Aw, golf ball sized. Hell no. We're going to beat him. I think he's one of the pro players, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Best bet most hits is Pete Wheeler. Yeah, with four. Or actually, it's free weight. Claudia Villarta. Interesting. Most doubles. Wendy Parsons. Mikey Thomas? How in the world does Mikey Thomas hit a double? Mikey Thomas hits a home run or he gets out. That's how it works. He's so slow, he can't even make it to first. Unless he hit a ground rule double. That's the only way he could have hit a double. Otherwise, wow. Wait, Ronnie Dobbs is 10 for home runs? No, he's not. He's one. He's number 10. <laughs> Ronnie Dobbs is pretty good at hitting. Uh... <laughs> 
four of these are from my team. That's good. Billie Jean Blackwood has hit a double? Kimmy Ekman hit a double? Oh, I, man. And we got Keisha Phillips. Derek Jeter has a boost for playing on his real-life team. Does, is that how it works? I don't know how a lot of the stat boosts work, especially with regards to the pro players. Annie Frazier hit a triple. That's impressive. Ken Griffey Jr. also did. No surprise there. I don't remember a lot of the pros. I do remember Ken Griffey Jr., and he's really good. I also remember Ichiro, but unfortunately, he's one of the few pros who's not in this game. He was only in 2003. Runs batted in. Ahmed Khan with six. Yeah. No surprise there. Nate Kowalski. I don't know who he is, but he's going down. Run scored Pete Wheeler. Did Pete Wheeler reach home four times? I don't know. Pete Pablo. How does Kimmy Ekman have a 1.0 batting average? Along with Billy Jean Blackwood. That's just... That ain't right, I tell ya. Slugging percentage. I don't really know what that refers to. How did Kimmy Ekman steal? Kimmy Ekman must have had the mo the craziest stat boosts in the world. She probably played on her own field, and that's why. Should have picked Kimmy. You know what, Marty? I probably should have, because Kimmy would have dragged my team down a bit and made it so I'm not invincible. Kimmy is... I would put Kimmy in the bottom three characters in the game. I think Kimmy Ekman is bottom three, Gretchen Hasselhoff is bottom three, and Reese Worthington is bottom three. I'd say those are the bottom three. Strikeouts, Vuan the Wii with seven. Lindsay Felgate. That's also not how you spell Lindsay, I don't think. Todd Xavier with two errors. Oh good. None of my none of my players are up on the errors. Alright, that's that's cool. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all again so much for watching. It was so much fun playing this. Looking forward to game two and winning that one as well. We'll see if we can go undefeated for this season. We almost went undefeated last season. We just lost two games because the refs were rigged. <laughs> Definitely not because I played badly. Anyhow, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Hope to see you Wednesday, and God bless.